Come back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this entire solution inside Visual Studio. So all of this is going to be one solution. This is going to be one project, another project, a third project, and a fourth project. So I'm going to make all of these as projects, each of them, inside an entire solution that's going to be uh, all of the different projects. So let's try and do that. I got, this is the old one, so I'll make a new, file new project up here. And what I want to do is I want to find, I selected Visual C Sharp right here and .NET Core. That's just, seriously, just easier because we're only going to work with .NET Core anyway. So I'm going to select a console application for my first part, which is going to be the UI that I'm going to build first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name here. Let's just call it, I'm making a customer app, so I'll just call it customer app UI to explain that the first project is going to be the UI project, right? Inside the solution, and the solution name is down here. So the entire solution is going to be called customer app. So the entire solution here is going to be customer app, and we're starting with the project of customer app UI. Hope that makes sense. And I'm going to make that a console app right now because that's going to be the front end, the one that can present stuff to the user. I'm going to say, okay, it's going to create a new solution for me. There we go, that was kind of quick. Call it customer app, it has my first project here, and that project is actually uh, a pretty simple console app like the one you've seen in the last series. No problem there. Now we're going to do something different. We're going to make another project by right-clicking the solution, saying add right here, and saying new project. But this time, it's going to be a class library. A class library cannot present anything to the user, so you're not going to end up having a console application anymore. You're going to be able to print to your console, like the output screen down here, but you're not going to have like a console application that you can write stuff to. It's going to be commands. You have to send commands now to this uh, package of information. So maybe think of this as a packaged piece of code with an interface that you can talk to and get information back and forth. But it's no presentation, there's no presentation layer inside it. So we picked the class library for that. We're going to call it customer app again, like the other one, customer app, but we're going to call this the business logic layer, right? So this is the second guy in our beautiful drawing right here. I'm going to say okay, and now we have another guy over here in a second. So now we have both the customer app BLL and the customer app UI. Notice there's no console read line or there's, uh, sorry, there's no um, main method. It's just a dumb class right here that we'll play around with later. So that was the BLL, that was the app UI. Let's make two more projects. They will also, both of them, actually just be class libraries. So we're going to make a customer app, DAL layer, right? Data access layer. And we're going to make the last one as Let's just call it entity just to keep the name of the drawing. And that's going to be a customer app entity like this. There we go. So now I have my different layers and I'll just shut down these guys for now. We, we don't need them for now. But this is the structure you should have right now with four projects, a solution called customer app with four projects inside it. And let's just try and open this guy just to show you. So I will kind of open it in File Explorer and notice it's just the app solution is the name of the top folder. And then we have four projects below it like this. And here we have the actual projects with the single class right now. So that's kind of how we made the layers. So now we have the layers available. They are not bound together yet. We'll do that next lesson. But now they are all there, all our four layers. See you next time.